this will be a short video on how to add the bill of materials to an assembly drawing. So assuming you've already uh, imported your uh, drawings and you've set your exploded view the way you want it, <clears throat> and now you're just ready to add the bill of materials, uh, you make sure to go to the table tab and let me turn this on real quick. Okay. So table tab, and we want to add a table, it could be a three by two table, and then just click to place the table. So the repeat region will be on the bottom row, and the top row will be the headers for those columns. So I'm going to click on repeat region. Add, and then it says to locate the corners of the region. So that's the bottom left corner. So I'm just going to click once, and then the bottom right corner. Click once again, and then hit done. Now you should be able to double click on the three cells on the bottom to tell the repeat region what sort of information we want in there. So double click. Do RPT index for the bottom left, RPT quantity for the bottom middle, and for the bottom right, <clears throat> ASM, MBR, and name. So ASM, MBR, name. And now if we hit update tables, it goes in and it grabs all the parts from your assembly and gives each part its own row in our repeat region table. So the next step is to collapse this down. We don't want to see four different dowel pin rows. We just want to see one row that says dowel pin and then how many there are. So let's do repeat region again. This time instead of adding, we will change the attributes of an existing repeat region. So attributes, and it asks us to select a region. There's only one, it's this one that we've made. And we want to change it from duplicates to no duplicates. We don't want to see duplicate parts. Done return. All right, from here, uh, we just double click on the top cells, and that would be reference. Uh, QTY quantity. description and then I'm going to edit the width of these columns by uh, selecting the column or the cell that's in that column holding down the right mouse button going down the height and width I'm going to change this based on uh, the width and number of characters so uh, that's three characters right there R, E, and F so four uh, would look look appropriate. Same thing for this middle column. Four. And for this column, I think 12 looks all right. <clears throat> okay, now if we want to reposition this table, we can. And that's how you add a bill of materials.